Could you please introduce what you do in Nigongda and your duties? My duty and my job is to recruit foreign teachers for our university. And for example, I will collect the information I need. Another part of the job is to help them teach and live happily here in China. Uh, my name is Joan McDermott. I have been teaching here at Nigongda for the last five years. I come from Ireland and I happen to be the head teacher here. And my name is George Benson and I'm also from Ireland and uh, Joan is my wife. I've been teaching at Lee Gangla for the last six years. Hello, my name is Madeline Goodman. I am a recent college graduate from the state of Missouri in the USA and I have been teaching here at the university for two years. Hey, my name is Junko Nakayama. Uh, I'm come from Japan, so I've been here uh, about one year. My name is Samantha, but I really like to go by Sam most of the time. My major was biology, but I ended up teaching English at Chinese University. Uh, my name is Alex. I'm a recent graduate from North Carolina, and I've been teaching English here at SDUT for one year. My name is Dave Bell, I come from Ireland and I've been a teacher at SDUT for the last three years. Uh, my name is Mi Tie. I'm the assistant of the deputy director at Mist Bay. My job is to help the uh, foreign teachers to study in China and I'm their Chinese teacher. Well, as a recent college graduate, I would say the cost of living is very affordable. It's very cheap to live here. Food or beer is always less than two dollars, American dollars, um, which is extremely affordable. Uh, it's really easy and comfortable to live here, uh, especially considering the university provides insurance. Uh, and since compared to Beijing and Shanghai, also, you know, in general, living in China is very cheap, um, but living in Zibo is even cheaper. I've arrived here. Uh, we have developed many, many friendships through uh, our teaching, through our colleagues here in the university. Um, I love to cook, so I've been fortunate enough to meet quite a few people who are foodies, just like myself. And I've had the pleasure of going eating with them. I've had the pleasure of going cooking with some of them. And we go to their homes, they come to our home, and we have a great time. Yeah, it's. Um... The social life for a married couple here is, 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 is excellent. We have no shortage of Chinese friends. Uh, one of the things that surprised me when I came here was how friendly Chinese people are, how welcoming they are, and what a safe place it is in China in general. When I first came here, because I had freshly come out of university, and I, it was all very new to me being in a different country so far away from home. So. What happened was I started going to my fellow foreign teachers' classes to see how they taught and get better ideas for how to improve my classes. And what came from that was this sort of mentor program we have now, where you can be paired up with one of the other foreign teachers and follow them for like a week or two, see how they do classes and get a better feel for how to teach your own classes. And I think that's been really beneficial for the new teachers who have come here. Living in Zubwa is very convenient for travel because of Zubwa's location. Um, Zubwa is a traditional Chinese city where you can experience a traditional Chinese culture, but Zubwa is also very close to the big international cities. You can travel to Shanghai and by high-speed train in just over four hours, and also to Beijing by high-speed train in just over three hours. Traveling here in China as a young single woman is extremely safe. Um, it's very convenient to buy tickets. I have even lived in hostels and hotels and with friends. Yes, we have meeting uh, once a month and sometimes go to, uh, go to trip together and sometimes have dinner together. Think of Shandong University of Technology as a gateway to China.